What's up, Vault Hunters? The Borderlands show is back because it's time to reveal everything you need to know about the upcoming Director's Cut add-on for Borderlands 3. So as you'd expect, we've been playing a lot of stuff in Borderlands since we last talked to you in October, all right? So there's a whole bunch of stuff we want to get into. In case you missed it, Borderlands 3 is, of course, available now on all the next-gen consoles. You can upgrade to the next-gen version for free in the same console family. Uh, if you own the game on disc, just make sure, you, of course, you buy the next-gen console that has a disc drive to take advantage of this upgrade. Looks great. Immediately, just it, opening it up to 60 frames, man, with the reaction time you have when playing a game like this, it just feels so much smoother. 120 frames, this is one of a few that is doing it, so applause for them for making sure that that happens. The other, of course, uh, big thing that's happened since we were last on the air, November, the Designer's Cut add-on launched. Designer's Cut added a brand new skill tree uh, for each of the four Vault Hunters and introduced Arms Race, which is a bit like a PvE roguelite battle royale-ish mode. If you haven't played it, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go play it. Of course, if you only own the base game, no problem. You're going to have a chance to score even more limited time loot during the annual Broken Hearts Day seasonal event. Of course, the event kicks off tomorrow, February 11th through February 25th. I know a lot of people are excited to hear all about the director's cut. Of course, we've been able to play it. We got Randy here to talk about it. But before then, we have a special announcement. This one is very close to my heart. I am excited to say, ladies and gentlemen, after so long, next week, Tales from the Borderlands will be available for purchase once again. I haven't played it yet, so I'm really excited. What? <laughs> Basically, Tales from the Borderlands is an essential piece of Borderlands canon and arguably one of the funniest games ever made. What? Why haven't I played this game? That sounds great. <laughs> Are you ready for the release date? Tales from the Borderlands launches on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC February 17th. That is one week from today. Uh, if you'd rather play wow. Tales on your new PS5 or Series X slash S, don't worry. Of course, this is backwards compatible and you can play it on your new console. No problem. To recap. The Broken Hearts Day event starts tomorrow. Next week, Tales from the Borderlands returns, and then next month, the Director's Cut add-on for Borderlands 3 launches March 18th. The DLC consists of four main parts, uh, a series of brand new story missions set throughout Borderlands, three sets of daily and weekly challenges called Vault Cards that can be completed for unique loot and cosmetic rewards, a collection of never before seen behind the scenes content, including Borderlands 3 concept art, storyboards, and more. And then finally, what you have all been begging for, a, a full-fledged raid boss. Yeah! <laughs> This is a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't contain my hype. Test your metal against the most fearsome of all Varkids. Her name has long been whispered in blood soaked legend. Now, Hemovorus, the invincible, has awoken. This colossal raid boss has made her lair on Pandora, and only the fiercest big game hunters have a chance of kicking her chitinous butt in the pursuit of top tier loot. Better bring some friends to this fight and get ready to get caked in Varkid guts. It's going to get messy behind a door in Pandora that's been locked since launch. Yes, it is that door. But for me, it was very interesting to hear them talk about new story driven side missions. I have the official description on that one as well. Ava is convinced she has a lead on some potentially supernatural slayings and has decided to document her findings in serialized podcast form. Consider yourself her gun toting co-host as you investigate strange happenings on Pandora, Promethea, Eden 6, and Necrotafeo. Scour the galaxy to solve a string of murders. Uh, you'll see brand new locations like Mitsu said and use a new crime scene analyst mechanic uh, to solve puzzles and progress the story. Uh, while this is a side story, there may be teases, hints, and secrets that tie back into the main storyline. So if you're a fan of Borderlands narrative and characters, you won't want to miss this. Included in the director's cut are three vault cards, which are your ticket to upcoming seasons of themed loot. Once the vault cards are released, they can be activated and leveled up to unlock a bevy of cosmetics, plus some supremely powerful gear. The first vault card will debut with the launch of Director's Cut on March 18th, with the remaining two scheduled to launch by the end of 2021. People who are looking for a longer term experience can now know that when they're logging in, there's things for them to look forward to doing. 
and they're going to be rewarded for doing those things. And that brings us to, of course, the final part of the add-on, one of the final parts, I guess, uh, the never before seen behind the scenes content. Uh, we don't want to spoil all of this by showing you everything now, but you can expect to find plenty of insights into the development of Borderlands 3, including bloopers, cut content, and other behind the scenes selections. You can also explore a gallery of full concept art, storyboards, lost maps, and footage of Borderlands 3 from throughout its development. So all we can tell you about behind the scenes content Content, but we actually do have one more surprise for you. We're excited to reveal that Gearbox has created another brand new set of multiverse cosmetic packs called the Disciples of the Vault Packs. These packs give us a look at what would have become of each Vault Hunter if they had been swayed by the Calypsos and joined the Children of the Vault. The Disciples of the Vault cosmetic packs drop next month on the same day as the Director's Cut add-on, so that's March 18th.